other than creating video games, which is what it is mainly known for, a real engine is getting increasingly used in the VFX industry for creating movies, TV series, and advertisements. As many studios have started to realize how powerful this engine is for creating visual effects and VFX productions in general. Nowadays, it is used by some of the biggest studios in the industry, including the likes of Weta Digital, Frame Store, and Industrial Light and Magic. The Mandalorian and Westworld are two notable examples of recent TV shows that use the software. In these shows, a real engine was used to create realistic environments that were used within visual productions. In other words, rather than adding digital environments in post-production, they were put behind the actors with the help of various special screens. And these environments are from inside the engine, meaning they can rotate with the actors in a certain way, making it a more practical workflow. Plus, it helps in creating immersive worlds. So, Unreal Engine is one of the go-to tools for VFX professionals that are looking to create stunning and realistic environments. From what I can see, its comprehensive set of world-building tools allows you as an artist to craft an immersive world, starting with photorealistic forest to futuristic cities and medieval towns with ease compared to what was previously available. But it is not just about creating realistic environments. Arbio also enables artists to design stylized and cartoonish worlds, which can be just as immersive. This means we can bring unique and artistic visions to life, no matter what type of project that you are working on, whether it be realistic, stylized, or cartoonish. However, Unreal Engine is more than just a tool for creating environments. It also allows us to bring different types of effects to life which is a term that is used to refer to a wide range of visually stunning effects, from gunfires and explosions to smoke and rain with the help of tools like Niagara or the Niagara Particle Systems. But it is not just about making things look pretty. The effects system also offers advanced physically-based simulations to create believable effects, such as the way smoke blows and twists in the wind, or the way a car crash sends debris flying in every direction. These are some of the types of interactions that you can bring to life with Unreal Engine. Another existing feature of Unreal is its real-time motion capture capabilities. This allows you as a VFX artist to capture an actor's movement and facial expressions and apply them to 3D characters in real time. This means you can see the final result as you work, eliminating the need for offline rendering. And this allows for a faster and more efficient workflow. Interestingly enough, Unreal Engine is also frequently used as a render engine in VFX pipelines, where we can combine different 3D and 2D content into a final shot. And one of the reasons that make the software rendering capability so good is its support of physically based rendering, also known as PBR, which simulates the way light interacts with different materials to make realistic lighting and shadows possible. In addition, it has many other tools and features that help this process, which we'll discuss next. Unreal Engine offers a lot of features for visual effects production, and one of the most notable ones is its real-time rendering capabilities. I think this provides us with an efficient workflow as we can see the final look of our scenes while we work on them. Without the need for extensive rendering sessions, this enables us to make changes and adjustments right away, which can save us some time and resources. Also, Unreal Engine has a groundbreaking technology called Nanite, which makes it possible to import and use dense 3D assets with minimal processing and memory power making it easier and faster to render high-quality and highly detailed scenes. In addition to its effects and lighting features, which we already presented, Unreal Engine also provides other advanced capabilities for creating realistic lighting, such as global illumination, which simulates the way light bounces on surfaces, as well as custom light functions. 
which can be used to create a wide range of lighting effects such as volumetric lighting. Furthermore, and this is a very important one for VFX artists, which is the fact that Unreal Engine provides access to the Magascans library, which comes from Quixel. It includes thousands of digital assets that can be used to quickly and easily build environments within the engine. Unreal also features landscape tools that allows you to create and edit large outdoor environments through terrain sculpting, which is really interesting, as well as advanced painting tools that let us mix textures to add variation to our environments, and foliage tools to quickly add various plants, trees, rocks, in addition to other stuff, without having to manually place them around the environment. Interestingly enough, Unreal also has a visual scripting system called Blueprints, which allows VFX artists to create, for example, simulations and animations without the need to know any coding. And that is by connecting nodes, making the process more pleasurable for a lot of users. In addition, it has a variety of post-production tools, which can add a cinematic look to our renders, such as color grading tools, depth of field, and motion blur. Please keep in mind that these are just some of the tools it provides, because the software can give you a rich toolset, and we can present everything in this video. So now let's go to a different type of tools that you can use with Unreal to work on your VFX projects. So, Unreal's flexibility can be further enhanced by the ability to integrate third-party plugins to add new features and tools to the software. These plugins are both developed by Epic and third-party companies as well as indie developers to expand the capabilities of the engine as it has a big community that is constantly uploading a vast selection of plugins to platforms such as Unreal Engine Marketplace. And this, I think, can provide you with a diverse selection of options to choose from. For example, a popular plugin of Unreal Engine which you might be interested in is called Datasmith. It is a free tool for importing data from various modeling software, such as Max, SketchUp, and Rhino 3D, as it allows for an efficient transfer of complex scenes and assets into the software without the extra hassle. Another widely used plugin is the Houdini Engine which enables the integration of Houdini's powerful tools and animations into Unreal Engine's workflow to integrate things like fluids and destruction effects as well as procedural models right away into the Unreal projects. Now, when it comes to the learning curve of Unreal Engine, it may present a significant challenge for beginners due to its vast selection of tools and the interface that might look a little bit complex, especially at first sight, and especially if you never learned a 3D program such as Max, Blender, or Maya before, which makes sense. But if you are a 3D artist already, I think it is not a big of a deal. Additionally, the way you move around the 3D space can feel weird at first before getting used to it. Nevertheless, this shouldn't be a problem, generally speaking, because it has a large community with many free resources that can be available at any moment you want in different places around the web. Plus, Epic has comprehensive documentation to help you as a user to understand the engine. And if you want to learn on your own, there are various forums, YouTube videos, websites, and so on that can give you any answer you want. When it comes to pricing of the Unreal Engine, you can use it right away in any commercial project, but you have to pay 5% in royalties to Epic if you use the engine for commercial products on video games. This is the case if your lifetime gross revenue exceeds the $1 million mark. On the other hand, it is completely free, because most people are not going to make a $1 million using it, so you can consider it free especially if you are a hobbyist or if you are a small-time freelancer or if you do work for clients on a small scale, which most people are. So guys, 
If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel if you're new because we're going to create a lot of content like this about VFX and we will provide you with all the resources you need in one place. Thank you guys very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.